Hello friends. Welcome to Vlogmas Day number 20 freaking four. Malcolm wants to welcome me too. Say hello. Welcome to Vlogmas Day number 24. Vlogmas Day 24. So, Garrett's last two gifts have arrived. So he is gone uh, currently uh doing some errands i'm presumably for me so i'm gonna wrap these now while he's gone so let's do that now also i can't find my freaking tripod anywhere so but garrett told me not to dig around and try to find it because i may ruin a christmas present so i have to wait for him to come back so we may be at weird angles but just know sorry okay let's get started I don't know where my tripod is we're just gonna I'm gonna film put you guys here for now um, so for starting out today's vlog we are going to be prepping our Christmas dinner so there are a few things that I can prep tonight that will sit in the fridge overnight just fine um, the first is a cranberry jalapeno dip which I'm really excited about and the other one is my granny's dressing you guys I've never made it before but she gave me the recipe uh last time i was home and i've helped her make it a few times but i'm probably not gonna do a very good job but i'm gonna try my best so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna start with the cranberry dip because that's like a little bit less intimidating also because it's christmas eve i have this fun cup that gary got me last year which i had never used and i bought this one uh oh insert i'm gonna insert the clip of my grocery haul that i filmed today this morning this white bottle of wine I'm gonna drink to make dinner. Some cranberries, sage, heavy whipping cream, and milk. That's all we needed out of all the groceries I got the other day, so. For the cranberry jalapeno dip, this are the, these are the ingredients that we need. I forgot cilantro and green onions, and it would probably make a big difference in this dip, but I'm not going back out to get it. So we got cranberries, cumin, jalapenos, salt, lime, sugar and two blocks of cream cheese will be on there tomorrow but that is just gonna like do i put it on now or like so my granny got me the or gave me this contraption a while ago i have never used it because i just never have needed to use it but i don't want to finally chop every single one of these cranberries so i'm gonna see if this works oh man this is not gonna work at all i don't think i think it's just Wow, maybe that is just all my body weight. Okay, maybe we can actually do this. Let's see. So, um, this little chopping wizard thing actually worked. My downstairs neighbors probably hate me right now because of how loud it was. Okay, that's all the cranberries. That's 12 ounces of cranberries chopped. Recipe only calls for one jalapeno, so and it, you're supposed to seed it, but no, no, no. Is that gonna work? I put half of the jalapeno on here. Oh my gosh, it's falling in. Oh, fudge, that's hard to do. Oh, I'm just like smushing it. Cool. There we go. All right, we got one cup of sugar, one fourth of a teaspoon of salt going in, half of a teaspoon of cumin, tablespoons of lime juice, one, and second tablespoon going in. Gosh, that smells so good. Okay, I'm gonna mix this together. I think that's it. Here's what it looks like, you guys. I mean, look how beautiful that looks. And I'm gonna store this overnight until dinner tomorrow, about an out, like a full 24 hours from now. All right, I haven't tried the wine yet. Sipping it out of my juice cup here. Definitely not my favorite. 
but for $5.99, boo. Now that we got a little liquid courage going on, now let's start with the dressing. Let me show you what we're gonna do. Okay, so I got a can of cream of chicken, a can of cream of celery in here with a whole onion, trying to soften the onion. And then I got some cornbread cooking in there. I'm still incredibly nervous about how this is gonna go, so. We'll see, right? I mean, it's just for Garrett and I, so if it's horrible, it's fine. I'm gonna chop up this sage. I don't know how much, my granny said to use a lot of sage. Clearly I'm flying by the seat of my pants with this. Also, do I cleanse? I have no idea about sage. I've never cooked with sage before. I guess I'm just gonna feel out how much sage to put in. See, that feels like a lot of sage. Okay, I feel like that's gonna be enough. Okay, a little nerve wracking, honestly, but I want it to be sagey, but I don't want it to be like gross. I don't know if my granny uses like um, non-fresh sage or not. I have no idea, but I couldn't find that, and so Trader Joe's had fresh sage, so that's what we're doing. Oh, somebody's home. Aww. you. Okay, you guys, look at my flowers. Yay. He was so excited. I know, flowers. I'm gonna put them on my table. There it is. Oh my gosh, my flower is so beautiful. I'm gonna turn it so you can see both my daisies. Oh, there, thank you, Gary, with the lighting. Okay, so I let the dress or the cornbread cool for a while. I'm gonna crumble up the cornbread in to this container here. myself I'm gonna add this last can of cream of chicken too because I feel like it's not enough juice for like it's not enough liquid to dry that I have right now so I'm just gonna add the second can of cream of chicken to my mixture over here on the stove you guys can't see because of the angle of my shot but again I want to reiterate this is not a tutorial this is just merely a trying out a recipe that my granny taught me Okay, I'm gonna spray this pan, pour her in. We're just gonna go for it because that's all we know. All right, we have this guy. Kind of like a casserole maybe, just spread it out. I don't know, look like that. Who knows, okay, I'm just gonna mix in this even know. I'm a little bit more haphazard than my granny is though, that's for sure. All right, well, I feel like the texture might be right. It's a cornbread. I'm glad I added that second can of chicken, cream of chicken. Otherwise, I don't think this will be right. Okay, maybe add a little bit more salt and pepper. I'll tell you guys tomorrow on how that is because I am quite nervous here is an overview of the dressing I'm so afraid that this is gonna be bad but <laughs> I'm sure it will taste okay I mean all the ingredients we put in there are what my granny puts in there it's just gonna be the texture that's different so we shall see all right this is our really fancy Christmas Eve dinner I heated up some broccoli and bato roasted in the oven and we're having and we're having a Red Baron pizza, so yummy. All right, 
Here is our super fancy Christmas dinner. We got bread baron pizza, sister Schubert rolls, and frozen broccoli. And Garrett is about to, oh, gosh dang it, I keep dropping my phone. Garrett is about to put on Muppets. the Muppets. This is the vibes. Oh, there it is. Childhood. Hey guys, I'm saying good night because we're going to bed early because it's been, if you've been watching the vlogs, it's been a long few days and I'm tired. So I'm ready to go to bed. So we'll see you tomorrow for our Christmas day. I was about to go to bed, but I realized I got to put the stockings out because Santa's going to come tonight. So Okay, stockings are hung. <laughs>